Good evening, YouTube. Welcome back to Play the Hits, and holy shit, it's The Legend of Zelda. Nick, do you remember we have this game? Who is that beefcake? I don't remember us being this powerful when we stopped. Yeah, apparently we got pretty uh, buff before um, we took a detour into uh, Star Tropics. Did we already break into Ganon's tower and beat him up in front of his friends? Holy cow, we've got two no. places left. Dude, I think with two places left, we can get the golden sword, can't we? Uh, mm. Is that a well, thing? Let's, let's go find out. Yeah, let's run and see if we can get that bomb. When did we do the Ice Palace? I feel like I'd have remembered that. Oh, I remember it. Oh, Guinness from a can, yes. Yep, like a fucking we animal, Nick. It's it's a little weird to be on the other side here without playing through Star Tropics again. That was like a three-week detour. Right? I hope Your you enjoyed that as much like... as I did. Oh, I did. That was a oh, great I love series. That. Now, so, remind um, me, for the uh, Resident Evil playthrough that we have coming up, is it um is it your plan to take the reins of that one, or would you like me to watch or would you like to watch me go through that? Uh to quote Vincent the Vampire Hunter from Castlevania, I'd kinda like to see uh, an old pro do it. Alright. I, I will never say no to playing that game, but I figured I would uh, give you dibs since uh, you haven't gone through it before. I plan I mean, to play through it, but eventually. I was going to say, at the very least, if I play through it, you can always just play through it on your own as the opposite character. Opposite character. So at the beginning of the game, you have your choice of Chris or Jill. Oh, I thought we were talking about Resident Evil 2. Uh, there you have Claire or Leon, which okay. will also be an awesome one to play through when that comes out. Nope, he does not have a big bomb for us yet. I Do think I to... we need to clear every dungeon except the 7th. Is that no, right? Okay. No, I, I remember this. It was like a several very specific dungeons, and one of them was six. I got you. Okay. So that has to happen. Hey, what do we have in our bottles right now? Uh, right now, I'm just enjoying a smooth rum and coke. I Slurred am actually having myself aside. a gin and juice right now. Oh, very nice. That's Where's right. There's that damn no bird? bird. There's some no bird in the dark world. Let's see what bottles we have, because there is a part in that. Oh, boy smart let's see what's in the bottles because there is going to be a section where we need mandatory magic power oh those bottles there we go ah uh, yes you're right let's get ourselves a blue potion or a green potion or something or if you want to be super cheap go to like the forest near uh, the zoras and um uh, hey, you know throw your you bottle doing? in there there we go oh so chris how we doing today not too shabby. Um, not a very eventful day, truth be told. I had, had a day. Some, uh, writing done, and that was about it. Writing? Oh. You're not, like, working on a young adult fantasy series, are you? You bet I am. Harry Potter and the Sexicorns of Ancient Lore. Uh, I think that already exists. That's called The Witcher. Oh, that's right. Silly me. Okay, so let's see here. So what happened, uh... It was so eventful for you. Uh, part of it was work. Part of it was an interesting experience with an identity thief. Oh, uh, sweet. My highlight of the day is I ate at a sketchy Asian grill and survived. Never a bad choice. Um, the Asian um, all-you-can-eat buffet here in town recently closed down because they failed health inspections. That sounds about right. So they um, rebranded it as a grand reopening. Oh, no. Oh yes. So uh, are you gonna need to, to take some. Are you gonna need to take some shit breaks uh, in this episode? Oh, no, I, I'm invincible. Remember, I have never gotten food poisoning in my life. I you do have an Cambodia. iron stomach, strangely enough. Yeah, I've noticed that about you. Yeah, that that's my Marvel superpower, if you will. Where the hell Anywho, am I still running around like a chump. Um. So I was look. Okay. So as a part of this grand reopening this week, they sent everybody free coupons in the mail. Nice. And. Um, one thing that caught my eye immediately is none of the pictures featured in their local menu were pictures of the restaurant. Oh, that's never a good sign. There, there, there's like a picture on the front of like, welcome to our restaurant. And it's like this weird picture of like the Sydney Opera House and downtown, like, no whatever way. city that's in. Ah, uh, sunny defiance. And I'm sitting there looking at this like, where, where is this? Because I can tell you where it's not. <laughs> and there's there's this very professional gentleman like manning this Benihana grill. Oh no! And, uh, and it's it's nice and wood paddled. And I thought, 
Well, I know for a fact that scene doesn't uh, exist in that restaurant because I've been there before. <laughs> e even the food buffet did not exist in the picture they used. None of that was actual store content. That's not a good sign. So we walked in and it was basically the same old restaurant it's always been. I just assume with less cockroaches this time. Hey, that's not a bad thing. Yeah. So, of course, I brought my coupon so I could get my uh, gastronomical experience for three dollars off sweet well the really sad thing is that back when we were in college that was literally the only game in town for sushi yeah and i went there and i just pounded sushi the entire time yeah that's that's rolling the dice all right Mm-hmm. when you want a lot of sushi but you don't want to pay much <laughs> oh man though that was still a marked improvement over napoleon ohio which straight up I don't think they still have sushi there. I mean, if you want sushi, you have got to go Toledo, Fort Wayne, or God help you, Defiance. Um, no, nah, the, uh, we have a, um, yeah, there's nothing back there. Okay, we have a place here called the Yamato Steakhouse, and it's actually pretty good. That's the only right. drawback is... I've never been there. Well, I mean, you've, you've had the best. Why try the rest? Well, yeah, but I mean, it, it was built since I moved. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's, uh... It's good. It's just the sushi is a little on the scarce side. Like you pay six dollars and you feel you should have got an extra piece. Okay. Yeah. They give you kind of those quarter rolls. Yeah, but I mean, my sister comes over and like when we have our uh, monthly anime nights, you know, she doesn't mind, so I don't mind. She lets you watch uh, girly stuff and you let her pound sushi. That works. <laughs> No, it's actually really sweet. We, um, you know, she she has a couple of anime series she's really into. So, uh, you know, she comes over. We just binge watch stuff and eat nice. sushi at the same time. What are you guys it, watching? It, it's sweet. <laughs> no, I'm totally not an anime nerd, I swear. Um, sure. Actually, right now, funny enough, as per one of our last conversations, it's a Shonen Jump series. Where, um, oh, nice. She really got me into My Hero Academia with her. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's. I've heard of that. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's like a Shonen Jump show, but the characters are actually good. Oh. But anywho, <laughs> it's like Marvel. I if I cared about the superpowers. Whew! Is it just me in here, or am I really, really sweating it with this alcohol? That's a sign to keep going. Your okay, body is so... your body is encouraging you to power through. So here's the thing I never do right when I drink is um, I don't drink like for six months at a time ever. And then I'm thinking, OK, well, I'll have some juice and some gin and some wine and I'll just drink it really fast so I can get my buzz early. <laughs> That'll clearly fix everything. <laughs> it just went to my head. Whew, well, well, that's my story. What have you got? Well, not a whole lot. Like I said, today was relatively uneventful which has made me somewhat lethargic which is why i mixed myself the rum and coke so we'll makes see. you careless and sloppy it's when an assassin is going to come and shove his knife between your ribs you know they do that on an unrelated note i'm reading dune <laughs> nice absolutely um, so, in love with that book very good so in other uh not not to uh, distract you from dune this is probably the dungeon that no matter how many times I play through it, it's always like I'm doing it for the first time. Like, I remember Turtle Rock, mm -hmm. like the back of my hand. I know all the tunnels and all that good stuff. This dungeon, it's always like I'm playing it for the first time. When I was writing my uh, guide for this with Adam Fullenkamp, I swear I sat there for six hours writing and revising that guide. Nice. Uh, this dungeon in particular, I'm guessing? The, the, I'm sorry, just this particular dungeon. Wow, there I'm getting go. sloppy already. <laughs> um, shut up. Um, anyways, Nick, Nick couldn't take the rejection after his uh, Star Tropic streams has yeah. end, ended, so he just took to drinking heavily on streams after that point. I don't know, man. You got us a solid, like, 12 views per episode. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's a high for us. Yeah, I think hey, um, the... One with Da Vinci had 18. Dude. In like three days. So, yeah. Damn. Wow. That's Look like at my petty little achievements. That's like a personal best. Come here, you. I really didn't need to kill them, but I wanted to. 
Hey, Samus Aran wouldn't let him live. Are you better than Samus Aran? I am not better than Samus Aran. And they're back, some of them. That was Son weird. Son of a bitch. Well, hey, so, down. um... Did and you hear David... Nothing. David Copperfield is uh, in court. Oh, really? What's that all about? Yeah. He is being forced by a judge and jury to reveal the secret of one of his disappearing tricks. Oh, boy. <laughs> is this going to be a sex thing? No. Um, <laughs> so what had happened is, my understanding is, and my sobriety is quickly withering, um... What had happened was he had done a disappearing trick and he was oh, making God. multiple guest audience members disappear. So he made one guy disappear. And then forgot and to make him reappear? No. Oh, even better. He made another guy disappear. And these two guys got in a fight backstage. That's awesome. While they were disappeared. <laughs> so they forced... Um, no, you, help, you get out of the ether. No, you get out of the ether. So I guess what had happened is they got into a fight and they crashed like from behind stage, like onto the front of the stage where the audience was and everything. <laughs> I say it's all a hoax. I say the world needs a little magic. So there, there's poor David Copperfield trying to keep a straight face and keep things going. <laughs> and here's these two jackasses. <laughs> right. Could, couldn't keep it civil even during a fucking magic show. So, yeah, essentially, it ended up turning into a situation where, like, okay, well, we need to know how to do the magic trick. And I assumed that was because the jury was full of people like us, like, no, no, let's see if we can get them to reveal some tricks. Oh, God. Yeah, so, anyways, there's that. And they say there's no good news. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hey, there we go. Hey. Okay, so we're on the right track, I think. Ah, son of a bitch. There we go. Let's see here. Yeah. Hey guys, what's going on? Gotta unturn every single one of these fuckers. You guys doing one of your video game streams? How's it going, Rex? I'm doing great, how about you? Good, I almost called you Thor again. Yeah, that would have been awkward. Nick probably would have cried again. <laughs> hey, huh? hey, hey! Is that foul-mouthed in echidna like around these days? What's he uh, up I to? I don't know nothing about no high rule. Huh. All right. Well, I'll see you guys later. It's nice talking to you, gentlemen. It always is. <laughs> um. <clears throat> oh, I'm about to get. Yep. Okay. It was worth a shot. I'm looking to um buy another dog here in a couple months so that should be fun oh really because you know why have a family when i can just have kid uh dogs exactly and why just have one sensible pet i really feel like rex needs a little brother i feel like he kind of gets bored during the day i gotcha and i'm gonna have a couple months off so i figure that'll be perfect time to uh raise another dog hey right on nothing like a good old dog <laughs> Yes, you, you come home, legit? you can... Uh, Neither of that's them. That's weird. Hmm. I hate this dungeon so much. You know, it's not great. It's not the worst. Skull Palace is the worst, because fuck Skull Palace. But this well, one's... Uh, it's just kind of um, drawn out. Okay, let's take half my magic in one room. I like that. Th this one commits the crime of taking too long. There we go. I mean, at least with Skull Palace, I see how we make progress. Uh, gotta bet you the floor tiles are gonna come up here, aren't they? Yep. <laughs> I have no time for this. Oh, thank God they're down already. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I had a bad feeling about that, um... Whatchamajigger. And it's just the compass. That's the fuck you, you're still in the opening parts of this dungeon item. Isn't it, is it just me, or does the dungeon look like a Pope's Mitre? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Well, there's no compass there, so it's in your pause screen. What's that? Uh, j oh, just the kidding. compass. I, th I thought you meant the dungeon itself. No, I meant the, um, the, the compass when you pulled out of the treasure box, because apparently it looks different that way. Ah, I gotcha. 
I was gonna say I, th I, th I figured you were seeing this, and it's like, yeah, it kind of looks like the Pope's funny hat. Maybe yeah, I have thanks for more humoring drinks. me. I'm not uh, wasted. I'm just tipsy. I once had someone ask me if the Pope was my boss. Well, you're Lutheran, so your boss would be like Luther. Strange. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's even better. So somewhere in Germany, Luther just turned over in his grave. Luther's strange. Who was that? I was thinking of Lex Luther. Yeah. Now that would be a religion. Who the hell was Luther Strange? That's confusing me. Uh, I know who Luther Vandross is. No, but no. that doesn't help us. Don't you fucking do it. You know, as I sip a little bit more of this um, screwdriver, I guess is what the kids he, call uh, it. He doesn't have an item, does he? Oh, wait, I remember who Luther Strange was. <laughs> Isn't that the guy who, like, Donald Trump rallied against in favor of, like, Roy Moore? Yeah, big, big Luther, remember that? No, I don't remember, but that sounds like a story I shouldn't have forgotten. No, it, like, Luther Strange was someone that Trump was campaigning against, and I guess he lost, and that opened it up for um, Roy Moore to win the Republican primary. And we all know how that went. What what was Trump's pet name for him? Big Roy, you said? B Big Luther. Big Luther. Yeah. I hate that man so much. Have, have I mentioned we that are, on the show before? We, we are 11 minutes in. We've already got our first Trump reference. <laughs> well, if you so, would bring him up. No, nah, it's, it's okay, <laughs> Nick. You do what you got to do for the country. Who gets mentioned more, Trump or Knuckles? Why? Why? With why? Why have them there? If whatever. <laughs> well, there's two more in the next room. Oh, okay. C C come you on, Chris. Better than you're I do. sober. I'm sober-ish. And if you go into the next room, you talk to like Shalashaska, and he talks to you about how you need to light all the lamps or something. Shalashaska. Shalashaska. M Night Shalashka Shashka Khan. Yes. That guy. Yeah! I didn't even see him there. Oh, God. So, have you talked to Christy yet about just getting us an intro where we both look absolutely smashed? Right. We should just take oh. drunk pictures of ourselves and just put those on there. Okay. Ah, oh, you lightweight Nick. You hardly even <clears throat> drank your first screwdriver. Do these guys just respawn? or? Uh, They're infinite. Yeah. I don't okay. know what you're doing. Yep. Well, now, what the hell? Well, you gotta light all four, buddy. Well, yeah, I thought I did. There we go. Can't let the other ones go out. That's the trick. <sighs> this is progress. Wow, they're oh. really milking that, uh... It's so, like, like King Zora moving up, moving over all over again. Yeah, I was gonna say, all of a sudden you go outside and like it's a completely different world. <laughs> like, yeah, you've hey, did... completely shifted the gravitational pull of the planet. Yeah, welcome to Final Fantasy VI. Sahashababashla. Somalian. M. Night Shemashashkalon. Hey, this is what I was trying to do all along. Excellent. Terrific. Now, now this will make actual progress. Have we decided what my next uh, project was gonna be yet? Oh, the one that you lead us through? Yeah. I don't think we have, strangely enough. I am going to try to get Perfect Dark going. That would be oh, a Oh, that'd be a lot of fun. You know, I've never seen that game played all the way through. No. I've seen you. I've seen you do parts of it. I'm going to do Perfect Agent. Oh, that's right. Son back in my little... Um... fucking bitch. Yeah. Yes, in your uh, broom closet. Yep. Back at the college. Dude, you know, it just dawned on me. There's quite a few episodes where we talk about being in the closet together. Yeah, that's that can be misconstrued quite severely. If I ever it, run for political office, these videos will come back to haunt me as my personal scandal. I was just going to say, misconstrued? <laughs> he said he was in the closet with this friend. How many ways is there to interpret that? Uh, we're going live now to uh, Chris Beck, Nick Weber's uh, so-called friend and possible uh, illicit love affair. It's just a 30-second loop of me giggling. 
<laughs> Son of a bitch, I need keys. I think you need to go back downstairs and get that treasure box near the entrance where the where the floor collapses. Sounds legit. Now, which one was that? Sorry, I'll lead the, you there. the rum is kicking in. One of us is supposed to be sober. Ah. Who's the designated player? Uh, that would be Rex, I believe. Oh, guys, move over. All right, I this. Go to your right. I just Not realized I don't have opposable thumbs. Go south, Chris. Okay, Rex. Wait, why am I talking like you, Rex? Because uh, you're drunk. That That's legitimate. H head um, south. You're fine. Uh, south. That, that that's that's west you idiot you absolute idiot don't make me come over there rex oh hey what do you know yeah listen to me i'll take hey it's places. a map how do i get through this door jump down jumping down okay now go to your right and pull out your hook shot not in that order ah oh, geez chris that's your boomerang all right now hit it quick quick right Good man. Hey, you got the chest. Here is a cane. All right, now that's going to solve a lot of problems for you later. Hey, I got to get out of here and go outside and pee in the yard for a while. You guys good? You do that, buddy. All right, see you later. I love you guys. And with thy spirit, Rex. Wow. Did Rex seriously just walk us through this dungeon? He didn't not do it. <laughs> this is exactly how I pictured my life at this age. Right? Okay. You know, fuck these slugs. I'm just going to come out well, and say then, it. Controversial uh, opinion, I know. Fuck these slugs. <clears throat> oh, hey, pick up that... Hey! There we go. This better be a key. It is a key. Back down we go. So, um... Boy, this has been the week of opposites. Um, have you remembered me talking about the game I was really looking forward to called Chasm? Vaguely? It was supposed to be like a retro kind of uh, ah! metro. Okay. Well, sorry. he's already hit you. Might as well go there. Yep. It's supposed to be like a retro Castlevania Metroid kind of, you know, um, dungeon crawler. Where am I going? Yes. So, anyways. Yes, I, I can get on board with that. Yes. Now, you remember um, No Man's Sky? I, I am vaguely familiar with its work, yes. Okay, so apparently after like two years after being garbage, No Man's Sky came back with a big up update, and it's didn't, really didn't good. Didn't I talk to? Oh no, I talked to Max about this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I played through a good portion of that this last week. Um, once again, completely not completely, but ignoring Octopath Traveler more than I should. Uh huh. And yeah, it's awesome. I, I really like the. I, I like it. I, I mean, I yeah. didn't hate No Man's Sky to begin with, but this uh, oh, actually did. makes it a. You know, it makes it the game we all wanted yeah. it to be in the first place. Exactly, yeah. I mean, you actually have freedom to do stuff instead of just go I anywhere. think you got to go to your left there. I don't think I could get down. This is where I want to... Yeah, here we oh, go. Okay. So anyways, so No Man's Sky, which is a really bad game at first, turned out to be a really good game after the updates. Move forward to Chasm, which people like me have been waiting with bated breath for, for like... There we go. Five years. Nice. And it finally came out on Steam, and I was waiting for it to set the internet on fire. Oh, no. And Never it's got mixed sign. reviews on Steam so far. Hmm. And it's mixed. the main complaint. You have to do pretty bad to be mixed. Um, <laughs> yeah, either people stop. love you or hate you. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and if, I mean, and if they hate you, you, it's because... Did I just blow that key? Maybe. What's to your left? Oh, wow, that's not good. No, I don't think there's anything here but rupees. So anyways, um, Chasm huh. came out, and it's got mixed reviews, and the reviews are saying exactly what I was afraid they would say. Uh -oh. Um, I think there's something in this room. There you go. So you need your oh, cane. Oh, right, yeah, scenario. that's right. Use the fucking cane. There we go. So essentially what had happened was a bunch of people in the reviews have said what I was afraid of and that it was something along the lines of, yeah, this is a cool game, but honestly, I've kind of played other stuff in the last uh, two, three years that did it better. Oh, great. Yeah. So it was just kind of that thing where um, nothing they, else they just 
that they Sorry. took so long to polish it to the point where everyone else just kind of came out and stole their thunder. Oh, uh, that's a bummer. Yeah. But I mean, is it polished at least? I mean, it's very well polished, but I have to agree with them. Like since that game was announced, I've been looking forward to it. I mean, things like Rogue Legacy came out. Um, S several things that kind of already did what that game aimed to do, and I've kind of eaten my fill of that, if you will. I gotcha. Coming back here. Okay. Alcohol Going plus Zelda al always leads to the same thing. But, but what the what the what? Wimmy wham wham wasn't. Why don't you just pull out your bow and arrow? Hey, why don't? Yeah. Hey guys, I'm back from being outside. You guys doing okay or you need some more help? Don't you sass me, Rex. Alright, I'm going back to bed. Alright, I, I love you. Did you guys get any views on your last video? Hey, shut up. Ah, this isn't, this ah. isn't even Knuckles. This is my, <laughs> my bruised ego. Yeah, no, my... um. Did you uh, happen to watch my uh, first episode of Mega Man X? Uh, I didn't get a chance. I was doing inventory and shutting down sites so, all day. Basically, it was kind of a risky idea I had where I play intentionally play games that I'm really bad at and see if through the process of grinding them on the internet, um, I actually become decent at them. Except um, mm -hmm. in the first half hour, it was largely just a exercise of watching me do relatively simple tasks poorly like it took me a half hour to get to uh spark mandrel and defeat him oh god oh i know oh man it, it's, that's it's pretty bad, rough chris that's bad you, like you don't let your shame. son see that <laughs> you should probably kill yourself is all i'm saying well no but i mean oh jeez. kiss your mother with that mouth it's 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 kind of funny because I played Mega Man 4 last night for a while. X4? Yeah, and I absolutely sucked at that after dominating Mega Man 1 with, like, no deaths. Oh, which is hilarious, because that's kind of the total opposite. I mean, don't get me wrong, in exactly. X4 I, I had my deaths, but um, mm -hmm. it was not a challenging playthrough for me. Even, even after the number of years it's been since I've played it. I spent 45 goddamn minutes on Stingray What's-His-Face stage trying to get that energy tank. Oh, really? The, the the second one where you have to jump right at the right time and hit the uh -huh. dash boost to get through the crates? Yeah, that one. Yeah. I yeah, was I not amused. I got that on my first try. No big deal. But anyway, sorry. You were saying? Uh, yeah, so like I said, that that was just infuriating. And then I got Guess we're going like, to the boss. one of the powers, and I couldn't remember how to use them. Wait a minute, what's the trick for this guy? You gotta pull the eyeball, you just gotta kill the eyes. Oh, you have lightning. Zap. Zap. He's gonna do it again. Never gonna forget that Simpsons episode. Huh. How do you predict where he's gonna shoot the lightning? I think you just have to... I think you have to lead it away from you. Also, his eye comes out of the slime. Oh, okay, cool. There we so go. So he's getting ready to do it now. Yeah, there we go. So pay attention to him and just keep mashing B. Yeah, he'll telegraph it. I mean... Oh. I mean, oh, I, wow. won't res I won't respond to his telegraph, but he'll do it. Yeah, I won't put on the cape of uh, invisibility either. Nick, you're a goddamn or genius. Or use the cane of Byron and let it just auto-kill everything. Where's the fun in that? You can also hit the big eye, too. Oh. Well, yeah, there you go. Well, this is practically cheating. I love how when you hit him, he sounds like he's saying, ow, 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 oh, no. Down he goes. My family. My eyeball family. Wow, we've got one more dungeon left, and um, well, wait, and how many Ganon's heart pieces? I, I, I was looking to how many hearts we have until we've completed our life meter. Do you get one after Aganim? I don't think so. No. So we no. got one more dungeon heart piece, and then... Agadenamemnon? And then seven just uh, little pieces lying around somewhere. Christina Agilemnon? Not Lemonemnon? 
But um Oh god. That's not even funny. Don't patronize me. You save so the So there's girl. another maiden here and Aganim is doing stuff. Ganon's doing stuff. They might be the same guy. Get more crystals. Saving the day. I mean, you've come this far. You're probably going to win. So, Dude, Nick, did I tell you the absolutely insane thing that happened to us uh, when we went to breakfast last weekend? What? So last Saturday, I didn't tell you the story. How did I not tell you the story? Holy shit. Um, so we're at breakfast um, just in this little downtown cafe. And this lady comes up um, and starts talking to us. You know, at first I'm thinking, is this like a church lady that I don't remember? Because uh, I feel uh -huh. really bad. But no, she's a stranger and she just introduces herself. Um, and she said she I'm came I'm sorry, have you gone inside that mouth yet? I believe so. Isn't it just a big fairy? Yeah, you're right. Go on. Um... So yeah, she she um, says she came over for two reasons. Uh, one, just to say hi to our little boy, and she reminds him of her. Uh, she reminds her of. He reminds her of her grandson. There we go. And then um, second thing was she noticed I was wearing a Nintendo 64 shirt, and she was asking me if she wanted. Um, one that belonged uh, to her sons that they left at her house in college and just never came back for and never gets played. Like, if I just want it, along with their library of games. And at that point, I'm like, are, are you going to stab me or something? Like, what's going on here? But no, she is <laughs> serious, and she then contacts me this week to get my shipping address to mail oh, me what is either what? going to be a bomb or a N64 barely played with a whole library of games what a load of crap yeah i know right it's, what it's... a load of crap you have an amazing job a beautiful wife an incredible child the world's coolest grandpa and then this lady just comes up and gives you free shit <laughs> right it's i'm sorry a... when did i turn into negan all this not a bad life not a bad life for chris beck why the hell am I doing this? Um, she just walked up to you and offered to give you all this cool ass shit. Yeah, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's the that's the gin and juice. Oh shit. Oh hey, there's a thing that I should do. Yeah, but you're not gonna be able to get there from the dark world. Isn't that like the whole from... point of this? No, you need to come in from the other side. Oh well, shit. <laughs> yep. Okay, so let me know what you end up getting. Yeah, I'll let you know if it's like anthrax or something, but uh, <laughs> that was um, that was pretty That's tight. Weird. Not going to lie. Yeah, like weirdly freaking awesome. Uh, yeah, I've, I've not had that happen to me yet. <laughs> yeah, just a random lady comes up and offers to give you like $300 worth of free video games after uh, your asshole brother sold them all while you were in college. Uh, is this one of those things where, like, there really is a god and he's watching out for you and giving you back all the stuff that you lost? <laughs> well, for one thing, according to my belief system, yes, but also according to my belief system, uh, I'm sure God has better things to do with his time than give me free video games. And me, knowing your belief system, said that completely knowing that would be your response. Good times. That, that's the gin talking. Oh my god. I, I love how, I love so how when something bad happens, people are like, oh, God's pissed, and then when something good happens, it's like, oh, why does God love you more? Yeah, this it's is how George, God operates. It's, it's the George Costanza method. I oh, that's you didn't right. believe in God, George. Well, for the bad things I do. I do for the bad things. Nick, what the hell am I doing? Why am I... Oh, You're I'm trying to find the Dark World entrance to get to that uh, plaque. Well, it ain't down here next to Long Hair McKinsey. Isn't that a hood? Or is that his hair? That's his hair. That's his hair. I never noticed that. I always thought he was wearing a fucking hat. Look at that. Yeah, That's his sure, hair. that what makes are... sense. Let's wear what? hats in caves. Oh, Nick. Look at Link. Look, 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 look. Well, look you look came this. into his cave, okay? This is where he lives, all right? You, you mean to tell me my hat does not bear an uncanny resemblance to his hair? A little bit. Okay. A little bit. He's got, like, a heck of a mullet going on there. Yeah, he does. I mean, that is a 90s mullet. Business hey. party. Okay, so what do I do to get to that? Refresh okay, me. you need to find an entrance to the dark world, so go to your right. Yeah. Yeah. And head north two squares. 
Back, back up and down. JK, I think it's here. Um, go to your right above the pond. Oh, you're right. Or is that a warp to another part of... No, it's not. You're right. I can pick up a block up there. Yep. Hey, thanks for walking me through that, Rex. I appreciate it. You're welcome, Nick. I may not have the attitude that Knuckles does, but I will get you out of a jam, I guarantee. I'm going to give you boys some coupons, okay? <laughs> All right, these are Rex bucks. Hey, what the fuck right. are you doing, Rex? I'm printing my own money, Knuckles. You, you moving in on Knuckles' turf? These are coupons. They're not knuckle bucks. Just calm down, all right? I suppose next thing you're going to be giving him a whistle. Okay, I'm just going to say that again. These are coupons, so let's all just, you know, Well, maybe cool. before they use your coupons, they blow the knuckles whistle, okay? Okay, knuckles, I'm getting tired of your shit. I'm just going to be completely honest here. Right, right, guys? He's being an ass, right? I, I don't know what's happening right now. Okay, anyways, like I said before, that foul mouth marsupial interrupted me. Here's some Rex coupons, all right? Oh, did I tell you I looked it up and it's not actually a marsupial? It's a, um... Shit, what is it? Me Metro... I don't watch Metro your videos, Game. guys. I didn't catch the correction in the editor's notes later. <laughs> okay, you know what? No one's getting no one's getting these coupons now. You don't get any Rex coupons. I'm leaving. Hey, look at that. This poor buzzard. <laughs> What a jackass. You've got the Bombos medallion. You are Way after it was relevant. Yeah, that right. helped you in the sixth palace. Yeah. So let's take a look at our inventory. What do we have so far? I think... Yeah, we're only missing the third uh, medallion. Which is... I forget. It's up at... Uh... It's in the dark yeah, world at yeah. the fish pond, right? Right right by Gan... Or no, isn't it the one by Ganon's Tower? No, no, what? no. I'm wrong. That's the first one you get, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so we need to go into Dark World Zora's Lake and then throw stuff in the circle of stones that says do not throw stuff in the circle of stones. I bet you I know just how we can get there. <laughs> Where there's a entrance to the Dark World, there's a way. Okay, so this should oh. take us to Zora Land. Nope, I yeah. was wrong. But do we have an entrance to the Dark World? Um, let me think. Zora's, let's, uh, let's fly up there. I think I know a good one. If, if memory suits me, as it sometimes does not, like when I can't remember what item summons the damn bird. More of a duck. Okay, so up here, there should be... Are you sh... Uh, hmm. The thingamma, what's it? I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say no. Isn't there one due south of me here? Nope. Those are just plants. I really thought there was a block there for some reason. You can't get to the dark world using plants. Wait a minute. My whole hey. belief system is wrong then. Hey, Joseph. <laughs> Don't you do it! Joseph, is there anything to eat? Fucking duck. Alright, so let's see. <laughs> Closest My, dark world entrance would be where? We could probably just go down to the lake and, you know, that same one and then make our way back up here. Yeah. There's <clears> also <throat> a heart piece at the lake that I haven't collected yet, so that should work out for us. Alternatively... Okay, alternatively, you could go to the dark... You could use the duck, go to the Ice Palace Warp Place at... No. Oh, you could go to eight... We go thinking to the too hard Ice about Palace's this. warp area, and then save and quit your game, start at the Dark Pyramid, and make your way there. Is that a warp? Yes. Or a very lazy Zora. <laughs> this Zora's been dead for 48 hours. <laughs> Th things aren't looking so good. I guess this could be sufficient. I want that hard piece. hell am I? Okay. Good god. I guess you could just warp to, um, Kakariko Village. I mean, really, I could warp anywhere I want. Because that's just gonna take you to the Ice Palace. Right, I'm stuck here, aren't I? Unless okay. you save and exit, and then... Okay. Well, that was productive. So, 
here's the first thing I want to do. Joseph, is there any food in the refrigerator? How do I get to that no? one? You'll just need a um, entrance to the dark world. Go down there and hit your magic mirror. God damn it, Nick. Just go to Kakariko Village. Just, just. Okay, we're going to Kakariko Village. Kak I, I gotta be the Kakariko. I gotta be the sober one here. Like I completely derailed. This is fucking amateur hour. Okay, head to your north. Uh, thank back God we have a compass here. Back, back where we did our first episode, and I was going on and on about Gallagher. Oh, that's right. Forgot all about Gallagher. What's he up to, to your left. these days? <laughs> oh. Hey, I remember this. There we go. That'll solve both of our problems. Dark world it is. There's a chicken. All right. Don't tease the chicken. It'll be a big mistake. Yeah. I feel like there was uh, a heart piece down here that wasn't accessible to me before. Did you go to the right and pound all those like weird stakes? I did. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while. Is there a heart piece to be got from the shooting gallery? Nope, just a lot of money. Good. Because I those are always my least favorite mini games in Zelda's. The games of chance and skill. Well, it's not even that or... I'm necessarily bad at the shooting mechanics. I just find them boring. <laughs> I, I find them unamusing. They don't hold my attention. I'm here to be entertained, you know. Oh, hey, um, hey, let's go that check damn the price on that. Yeah, exactly. Might as well make this world a little less threatening. Yeah, we're already pretty well there, but... Tight! <laughs> so this guy's basically selling you nukes now. Okay, so this has a time limit, correct? Or if I get hit, what? it goes off? Yes, you can pick it back up, I believe. Hey, buddy, what you eating? How much money will I need to pay you to go to Arby's for me? This episode is brought to you by Arby's. Oh, don't jump. Don't jump. Don't oh. jump. That, that, that'll that also piss off the sentient if I, bomb. If I swing my sword, is it going to get mad? It's fine. It's it's not Metal Gear. You can still use your gun, Snake. All right. Jojo. Jojo, somehow I helped them out at the Sixth Palace. Hey, really? Yeah, I'm a good dog. Thank you. Someone is a good boy. I was trying to give them some Rex coupons, and then Knuckles showed up, and he started shit. Oh, started I some shit. He is a bad influence. No, you started the shit. No, 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 you you started it. No. That I'm going to be the bigger not... dog. Who, who and... infringed upon whose territory? I'm going to be the bigger mammal and just let you have this one, Knuckles. All right, so um, what's the trick here? Just let it, let uh, it run. Do I have or to... Pegasus Dash. Aha. There we go. There we go. That, uh... I remember one time I laid this here and it, uh, didn't hit the door. It's pretty upset about to that. A big, uh, big mushroom cloud. <laughs> and then just in the distance you hear Link yelling, God damn it. <laughs> Does this lady yeah. also upgrade my shield? Mm, no, that that's from one? Turtle... That's from Turtle Rock. Hello. Hey, it's it's Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Oh, God. <laughs> and you know she's voiced by Mark Hamill. I mean, you know that. Hey, Nick. You know the oh. sword is throbbing in my hand? Um, that's not the best adverb. Well, that's the one they used. Hey, now it's uh, lemon flavored. Yeah, right? I love the uh, sound this thing makes when you swing it. So satisfying. Uh, makes it feel nice and meaty. Yeah, right. Whoa, right, now let's whoa, let's go whoa. beat up that catfish and steal that heart piece. Right. There's murdering to do. Well, now we can kill those dog guards in one hit. What? Nothing. Uh, shut up, Rex. How am I... Uh, I didn't use any of that, did I? I just used a single fairy. Okay. Who's killing dogs? I know I can get another one over here. Hey, you guys. Remember when I used to be afraid of you? Uh, Those days are over. <laughs> There's still nothing to scoff at. What are they called? The the 
he he knights he notes the hemoglobin trotters no 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 the big cyclopean things they, they were in breath of the wild aren't they just called like cyclos or something like this in this no like in this and this and this okay i guess we can't run through the bushes whatever i thought we could right, i'm gonna look this up muscle dude from zelda Ooh, you're gonna get some hentai How many pages of porn did it give you? Hold on, I'm checking to make sure it's all Zelda relevant. Oh, I'm sure it's going to be Zelda relevant, it's still going to be porn. Alright, so all down right. here is where I get that heart piece. Finally. Okay, we're going to go straight to the Breath of the Wild um, wiki here. Uh, we we meet again, Breath of the Wild. As we do. Hey, Penox. did you pick up the DLC and get the motorcycle yet? What? Oh, uh, I'm being Breath of the Wild. You know, like that friend no, in middle did, school did, did that really invited have... you over with the promise of playing with his toys. Just did tried way really too hard. Did they really have the motorcycle DLC? Oh yeah, there is DLC oh. for Breath of the Wild where you can get a motorcycle. Apparently it's pretty good, but the motorcycle just throws me off. That's weird. That it's... shouldn't be a thing. So they are called Henoxes. Henoxes. Or ah, interesting. Henoxi. Where the fuck am I? Okay. Hey, wait, there might be something here yet. Did you go to your right? You get the heart piece there? It's a good hey, question. there is an entrance to the dark world here all along. Oh, son of a bitch. Am I, I going the right way for the heart piece? piece? I think. I don't remember the one you're talking about specifically, so. Yeah, I might be wrong on this one. You're not usually, so. Let's um, see. head to the right. Yes. Aha! You clever, clever shrew. Maybe. Could just be some guy who gives you useless advice. Yeah. I don't know. He looks is. pretty on the level. He only looks wise. I, I don't, I don't want to hear it. Come on, you don't you want to get creature. rich? Quick? Don't you want to shut the hell up? Okay, let's see. Yeah. This seems this like This is just a, an entrance uh, to the dark world. Oh, is that all it is? I think. Yep, yeah. they just dig with you. Okay, Well, we then. can at least go rough up that catfish. Yeah, let's, let's, go, let's go wreck his day. There we go. I'm going to hit Y when I don't want to. I can already see that happening. So, wait. Is it just me or does uh, Link have the Infinity Gauntlet in his inventory? He sure as shit does. You can tell the writers from Marvel clearly played this game. <laughs> of course. I think this does predate the Infinity Arc. Uh, the Infinity Gauntlet Arc. Oh, really? Comics Maybe. and all, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I think Thanos was a uh, early 90s invention. That sounds about right. I mean, he sure—he cer certainly looks like the '90s. You know, I was really surprised Thanos wasn't played by Michael Chiklis. I'm just saying. Michael Chiklis. Michael Chiklis. Oh, come on! He played Vic Mackey in the Shield. He oh, okay. played the thing, and <laughs> he played the thing in it. I'm sorry. He played the thing in um. The thing. Uh, Fantastic Four. That doesn't help me, but I, I I know the shield reference. Oh come on, hold on a sec. F Fantastic Four. He played uh the thing. Sure. The, the stone dude. Yeah, I understand that, but it was also a CG character, so. Oh. That doesn't help me oh. as far as picturing his before, face. Before before he turned into the thing, he was Michael Chiklis. Oh, I got you. Well, I mean, it like wasn't Michael Chiklis's origin story for the shield. I mean. <laughs> yeah, remember remember back when the shield was edgy. Oh yeah. Dude, I think, um, what's his name? Josh Brolin did a great job, though. He, he did, and, um, I mean, yeah, he did a great job, but ultimately it was the CGI department's job uh, making Thanos look believable. That's true, but the uh, the performance went a long way. Let's see here. Yeah. 
Curses to anyone who throws something into my circle of stones. You pick that sign up and you throw that very sign into his circle of stones. That's a great idea. I was just going to bomb the shit out of him, but... No, no, no. We're doing this proper, like... If we're going to spite somebody, we're going to do it right. Here you go, fucker. Oop. What the fuck? <laughs> now he's the guy from... Oh, uh, my Die God. Why? Why would you do that? He's hitting... Marvin the Martian, is that you again? Give you this if you go away. And if you do it again, he just starts throwing bombs at you. Well, two can play at that game. I think you've got to leave, though. No, no, no. Yep. I want to see it bubble up and then just a big dead <laughs> catfish floats to the surface. It's a big dead catfish. All right, we have all the items, most of the heart pieces... Uh, yeah, a... here if you if you throw twenty three bombs inside the circle of stones, he'll throw out a film canister, which you can develop in your old house in uh, High Roll. Wow, these are pictures of Princess Zelda. And what's she wearing? <laughs> Nothing but a Mario hat. <laughs> oh God! And who's this fat Asian man that she seems to be so entranced with? <laughs> now it's weird. Is that Gunpei Yokoi? <laughs> Oh, shit. Ah, uh, 90s Nintendo. So are you going to go back and get that heart piece over in the um, ice island? or? I already did it. You No, you did. Yeah, straight did up you? did. Oh, yeah. Really? You were, you were talking to JoJo at the time. Oh, yeah, I was trying to convince him to go to Arby's for me because I gave all my food away to my sister. Dude, have you had one of their Coke floats yet? I haven't. Are they good? It may as well be made with cocaine instead of Coca-Cola. Oh, it's so really? good. Delicious. So now I need to get a Coke float. I mean, you can make one at home if you have Coke and vanilla ice cream, but I mean, there's <laughs> something I magical do. about having the Arby's people do it for you. Yeah, they, Arby's puts just the right amount of chemicals in there to simulate good flavor. That's right. Son of a bitch. Yep. Hey, what was the um, deal with the Simpsons in the uh, 90s? What was their beef with Arby's? Didn't they have like a few jokes where like... I, I don't know, but, um, like, Jon Stewart picked up on it at some point. That's right, yeah, and it was a Daily Show bit, too. I think Arby's might just be good sports. I think that's what that joke's all about. There's another dead possum in the pool. I ah, just throw it over the fence. It's Arby's problem now. <laughs> People do crazy things when they're desperate, Lisa. Like eat at Arby's. <laughs> Guys, for the longest time. we've been on this island for three days. I'm so hungry. I could even eat Arby's. Don't say that. <laughs> For the longest oh, time, God. I thought Arby's uh, symbol was a cowboy hat, but it turns out it's an oven glove. You're shitting me. No, no even JoJo's over here confused. I'm still yeah, seeing it's the cowboy glove. hat. Are you okay, sure it's not come supposed on. to be both? No, no, because remember when they had a talking oven mitt as a mascot, or was that Hamburger Helper? Nah, that, that was, that was ham that's always been Hamburger Helper. No, no, no. Dude, I'm telling you, man, that is fucking Hamburger Helper. This isn't even Knuckles. This is Chris Beck just getting sassy with you. I remember that white little fruitcake glove. He's, like, still on the box. Like, if you were to go to the store right now and buy some Hamburger Helper, you would see that oven mitt staring you right in the eye with its soulless gaze. Well, that one I know. Okay, Google I mean, Maps I, is trying to... I'm not saying I don't me. believe you about the Arby's thing, but they, I don't think they've ever had a talking oven mitt as a mascot, have they? Really? Instead of giving me the eight bombs, you just transition the screen so that I have to fight these guys over again. Yep, it was a thing. Really? Arby's yep. had a glove mascot. Interesting. Oh yeah, he is like a CGI monstrosity. Oh good. I can't wait. I mean, to he's that not as he's not as unnerving as the Noid, but. Oh man, fuck the Noid! That thing gave me nightmares. Oh yeah, avoid the Noid. Avoid the Noid. No problem. Yep. <laughs> Don't have to tell me twice. Thank you, uh, Domino's. Of course, that was back when their pizza tasted like assholes, too. So there, there, was, there were many reasons to avoid Domino's in the early 90s. Yeah, okay, so here, here's the title so. for the stream. It's Arby's Problem now. And it's I've Arby's got a commercial for you to end the stream with. <laughs> Excellent. So let's right. see. Are there any other heart pieces that aren't on the mountain that I'm missing? That's the problem with taking a long break between episodes. I'm trying to think of easy stuff we've missed. Yeah, or just stuff that was, like, item-specific. 
How many hearts do we have currently? So let's see here. I am two away from a power up. Okay, so, so I, we're I, missing there's six. six total. Yeah, right. Did you go back to the lumberjack's house and destroy their tree in the light world? I, you know, I don't think so. That's Seems about the like only thing I can one. think of offhand. I'm sure there's more on Death Mountain that um, are just kind of lying in wait. I think there is one more on Death Mountain, yeah. Oh, there's one inside Turtle Rock's Labyrinth. Yes. That is true, too. So we know at least two of them. Um, let's get Three kick. will work. Yeah. Don't think I missed any around here. Uh, go to the Lumberjack's house. Yeah, that's a good life. idea, actually. Just to double check it. Hey, sorry, guy. I swear I was oh, just trying go. to get across town fast. Link's just oh, like no, running not... carelessly with his sword. And <laughs> fucks not, up this not guard. Not the blacksmith. I meant the uh, lumberjack. Oh, okay. I'm gonna check the. Hey, I don't think I've done this, have I? Yeah, have go, I... go up there and visit uh, Zoltan. Yeah, because that's where you get your oh, magic. Oh yeah, that's right. You're right. When you're right, you're right, and you're right. You are. Man, I could really go for an Arby's right now. Jojo! He's Take gone. The hit. Oh, he's dead. He, he knew I was getting serious, so he left the room. It's like, oh shit, I'm gonna have to go spend money. I'd have paid for it, eventually. <laughs> does, uh, not that this is any of my business, but does Jojo live rent free? Oh, no, we split everything 50 50. Oh, good man. Um, good for him. Uh, the thing is, like, our arrangement... I, I wasn't going to berate the... him, but I wasn't going to make him feel good about it either. Oh, no, no, no. He, he is... Well, he makes far more than I do, too, so... Oh, nice. The, the agreement is is we split all food costs 50-50, but I put in the um, time and effort to cook everything, so eventually he evens the score with, like, a free pizza or a free Arby's run for us. Maybe occasionally he'll score you some dope. Oh, wait, no, that's your friend Knuckles, he, he, who we seem he, to have forgotten about. He's the perfect uh, roommate, in all honesty. Well, that's just because you've never roomed with Chris back, but that's okay. I don't know, Chris. I pretty much roomed with you that AmeriCorps Vista year, and you ran up my, like, takeout order. My, my take-up expenses to, like, $150 I, I was going to say, I didn't do anything that you wouldn't have done to yourself. <laughs> I remember sitting there reviewing my credit card charges for the month, and it's like, I went to the Asian Grill three times this month? Holy shit. And yeah, I guess we did already do that one. Is there anything in here? Or am I thinking of uh, Link Between Worlds? I'm thinking of a Link Between Worlds. Yeah. Okay. Well, All right, so um, I guess we're going to make our way up Death Mountain, and that should probably be the episode, actually. Can we, like, stop inside Turtle Rock and resume there? Is that how it works? Well, oh, you're fucking right, aren't you? Because I if, think if, if we get all that, the just... If we get all the way to the top, then it's just going to be a waste of time, isn't it? It's going to take you back to the Dark World, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, I'm going to kill this bat, and now we're going to call it an episode. Nick, this has been a hoot. We will see you I guys enjoyed it. next time on Play the Hits. For those of you who are still watching, if you enter the coupon code Arby's on our channel, Arby's will give you a 30% discount on their beef and brisket. That is a lie. Knuckles, uh, Knuckles tried it. It did not work.